Hello guys and welcome back to Survivor. Today I'm just gonna do a short video and show you how you can play Doom VFR with free locomotion both on the HD Survive and probably also on the Oculus Rift. Guys, yesterday I found out a very simple way to actually add some free locomotion into the game. It's very simple, it's not perfect and it could probably improve but it works. The way it works is that you actually are remapping some buttons on your HD Survive controllers or Oculus Touch controllers. I don't know if there is any way to actually remap every direction on the touchpad or on the Oculus Touch thumbstick controller, but so far I have not found a way for that. The only way we can do this by remapping some other buttons on the controllers to make them go forward and backward and probably on the sides as well. But I found out that actually forward and backwards are the only directions we actually need. So, well guys, it works. I have been playing Doom VFR for a while and I tested it with the free locomotion and I can tell you that it actually works great. First of all, you can move forward, you can move backward just freely with free and smooth locomotion, but at the same time, you can actually still do the dashing to the sides, to the front, and you can also do the teleporting. Well, the way it works that we are actually gonna remap the grip buttons on each controller. The only thing the grip buttons do in this game is actually to switch between the standard weapon and the upgraded weapon abilities. And well, I know that is a loss in a way, but still, I think free locomotion actually is more important than that. If you have a better way, if you have find a better solution to map any other buttons, I would like to know that. I would really, really appreciate that and please leave that in the comments here below under this video. But anyway, this works and it works really, really well. It takes some time to get used to it. It takes some time before you actually get hold of it, especially in intense moments. And well, yes, you are still aiming with your head. So the free locomotion, it's not gonna be like the onward free locomotion. You're still gonna use the head to actually choose the direction of where you were walking. So in the beginning, it could be a little bit confusing and a little bit awkward, but after a while, I promise you, when you have played with this for like 10 or 15 minutes, you're gonna get used to it and you're gonna love it. You will not want to teleport or dash anymore. So anyway guys, enough with the talk, let's install the OpenVR input emulator and I'm gonna show you how you get this to work with the Doom VFR. So first off, you need to download the Open Input VR emulator and you do that from this website. I'm gonna give you the link in the video description down here below. Download the latest beta version, it's free. Just download it to your computer and install it just like any other software in Windows. When Steam VR is running, you're gonna see that there's a new icon there called VR Input Emulator. Click on it and first of all, in the list on, on the top view, you're gonna see the HMD and also both of your HTC Vive controllers. First of all, we're gonna start off by creating a profile for this key remapping. And in this case, I'm just gonna call it Doom. It doesn't matter what you call it, but the most important thing is that you tick in the option include input remapping because it's very important, otherwise it will not be saved into the profile because input remapping is what we are gonna do. So after that, click on apply and the profile is saved now. Let's get back to the list with the devices. We have the HMD and we have the two controllers. You don't still know which one of the controllers is left or right, but if you click on the identify button, the controller is gonna vibrate. So in this case, this is my right controller. So let's right jump into input remapping. Now we're gonna remap the grip button to the keyboard key W, and that's of course the key for forward in mo most first person shooters. So let's go into the binding type and choose keyboard. And in the key, scroll down with your HTC Vive touchpad on your controller to the letter W. When it's done, just hit on the save button and save again in the next window. So now the right controller grip button is mapped to the letter W on our keyboard and that is forward. Let's go back and choose the second controller which in my case is the left controller. 
Be sure that it is really the left controller by clicking on the indemnity 5 so you can feel it vibrating. Let's go into input remapping and choose grip again. Choose the no remapping tab, choose again, and then choose keyboard, just like we did before. Now the key that we're gonna need is S of course, and that is the key that is used in Doom VFR for going back. Also, don't care about those two options, enable toggle mode and so, because you don't need those. Be sure to save that, just like you did before. Now you can see that your left HTC Vive controller grip button is mapped to the letter S. Double check the right controller again and check the input mapping, remapping, and you'll see that it's still, the grip button is W. So, well, now it's saved into the profile, and well, we don't need to do much more than this. You can of course click on this and click apply, but you actually don't need to do that. So the only thing you need to do now is to start off the Doom VFR just like always and be sure that the game is actually in focus. So the game window has to be in focus all the time while playing, otherwise the key mapping or remapping is not gonna work. Lastly, this is a very very important thing, so listen up guys, you need to know this. Guys, you cannot use the latest Steam VR beta version as of today, this latest version of December 3rd, because the version is actually making the Open VR input emulator to crash, and that's a huge problem. So the only way to use this Open VR input emulator plugin is to use the regular Steam VR version and not the Steam VR beta. And that also adds a problem. To, to be able to play this game with the Oculus Rift, you actually need the latest Steam VR beta. It works well in, with any version with the HTC Vive, but with the Oculus Rift, you need the latest Steam VR beta. But while the Open VR emulator thing is not working with the latest Steam VR beta, well, we have a problem. But I think that this is going to be fixed very, very soon. And as soon as the emulator is fixed to be, and is working together with this latest Steam VR beta, I think you can do exactly the same thing and remap your Oculus Touch controllers and get Doom VFR running with free locomotion. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to Swayviver. There's gonna be so much cool VR content, gameplays, reviews, and much more coming up. Hit that like button as well, share it everywhere because this is quite important. I think people would like to play this game with some free locomotion. And this is at least a very easy, simple, and primitive, but working way of having free locomotion in this game. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and see you very soon again. Cheers, guys.